Today, I take you to China. In the technology age, only few individuals have dominated in the tech world. According to the World Bank forecast, GDP estimates high growth in China, with the world's second largest economy of just 2.8% for 2022, while the rest of the 23-country region was expected to grow 5.3% on average, more than double 2021's 2.6% rise. China's own Pony Ma, with a net worth of $31.80 billion, is the co-founder and chief executive of Tencent Holdings, a publicly traded Chinese multinational investment holding conglomerate with subsidiaries in the internet, entertainment, AI and technology. Among its platforms are popular messaging apps QQ and WeChat, which accounts to 1 billion users. Ma, whose Chinese name is Ma Huit, graduated from Shenzhen University with a degree in computer science and then developed software for China Motion Telecom Development, earning $176 a month. He founded Tencent in November 1998 with a university classmate. Its first product was an instant messaging software similar to AOL's ICQ chat, named QQ. It quickly became China's largest instant messaging platform. By 2001, the company had accrued over $32 million in investment and in 2004 went public in a Hong Kong listing. Tencent made its entrance into the video game world with one of the biggest names in the industry, League of Legends. However, it didn't start off as a video game company. Pony Ma's tenacity has businesses in music, video streaming and search engines, but it's best known for its social networking app, WeChat, which is everything from handling payments to booking appointments. The app has over 1.2 billion monthly active. WeChat, which is often compared to Facebook due to its ubiquity in China. Its users have been key to reaching a vast network of gamers. In China there's no company on the planet that has this advantage that Tencent has. The company has been building its own online games since 2003, developing some relatively simple games, like these two more sophisticated ones. Over the years, Tencent has also tried to export some of them, but they failed to take off in the West. The best for example is probably Honor of Kings, which you know the world's biggest mobile game by revenue. Very well made but they are designed to appeal to Chinese gamers. For example the world building characters, the stories, the narratives video game industry analysts say some of Tencent's flops may have accelerated the company's foreign investments and this brings us back to League of Legends. In 2009, the company became the official Chinese distributor of the US developed game. It's not a casual game, it's not a very easy to play game. After launch, it just developed into a crowd pleaser. In 2017 alone, Ma invested $1.4 billion in Indian e-commerce platform Flipkart $863 million in Chinese online discount e-tailer Vipshop with JD.com and $200 million in Zhuanzhu, a second-hand clothes retailer. Tencent also owns stakes in Meili. However, let me take you back to WeChat. WeChat is known as a unique Chinese innovation but many dissidents deem it a government surveillance app because it collects huge amount of data on users for the Chinese ruling party. This is interesting to jot down. Also, with Tencent cementing their dominance in the game market, their dominance at home raised concerns among regulators on the gaming habits of young people. And the worst crackdown that Tencent has faced so far is probably the 2018 episode, when the Chinese government suspended approval of new games for about a year as part of a larger regulatory crackdown. Beijing began looking more closely at Tencent. In August 2018, a Chinese state newspaper called Online Games Opium for the Mind. Later the article was taken down then republished without the phrase Opium for the Mind. After the article's publication, Tencent saw a big sell-off and his share price dropped about 10% in just one day. In August 2018, Ma was China's second richest man, with a net worth of more than $36 billion. The Shenzhen-based Tenacity reported revenue of 560 billion yuan in 2021. Its mobile messaging application WeChat has about 1.3 billion users. The majority of Ma's wealth is derived from a 7.4% stake in Tencent Holdings, a publicly traded instant messaging company. Pony Ma owns his stake through the holding company Advanced Data Services, according to the company's 2021 annual report. 